Poppy, there's, there's nerves anyway, like, I'm, four weeks before, I, I get butterflies in my stomach, then, then come the actual day, um, yeah, the nerves are running, so we get out that first run for the day, and, and then the nerves slowly start calming down, and then just once, once you're on the line, it's always, it's always nerve-wracking getting into that first corner, uh, making sure that the car enters in, if it enters in, then you know you're good and you're probably pretty safe. So yeah, the nerves are just, just going crazy. Yeah, so I just heard that they chucked um, some more tar steel on the track and the grip level was the highest that it's, it's ever been here. And I, I would, just at a, at a rough guess, I reckon it's 15% 15, 15 more grip. And I was, I was shocked the first time I went out, I was just like, holy oh, cow, I mean, we've changed, changed a few things in the car, I've actually added a sway bar to the setup. First time ever running one in the rear, and I don't know where that contributed, but we actually got our tire pressures up um, higher than we've ever had them here before. In a way, it's made the battles easier, but it's also made them harder. So the other drivers able to get away from you easier, and and I found that the middle section of the track has just just gained so much more traction, and that's the area where my car is really sort of um, gripping up on me. I've actually had a couple of a couple of offs there, so just getting through that. Fanger down Bullhouse, Liam Burke, Fanger, what can he do? Is he going to knock out the protege or is Liam Burke going to fight back and take his way to a championship? We're about to find out. Fanger Dan leading out Liam Burke. V8 Monster up against a Monster 2 JZ and they switch on through as Liam Burke tries to get up on the rear quarter unfazed by the smoke pouring through the window. He is huffing on it. I theoretically just have to get a few few positions in front of Taylor. Um, so if I, if I got through to maybe top four and he was knocked down 16 that could be enough. Um, but otherwise I think I've got to get first and he'd have to get fourth in order for me to win the championship. We're just going to go with it and we're just going to see what those results are when, when they call it out on the podium. I'm so stoked for it. Mean, it's, it's great. It's wicked. Shout out to Fanger man, he puts on just that was such a good lead, same as the the OMT before, the first round. Oh man. You realise now that you're starting to potentially put yourself in championship position now. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, hey Taylor, we'll see what happens, man. So keen. It will be Ben Jenkins who leads the way in the Valley D1NZ National Drifting Championship Series. It's the final time, it's the final grand final as we see the Toyota Score GT86 almost a touch and oh. look at Liam Burke. Oh my gosh, almost comes a gun oh, for What a chase from Liam Burke. It's upset him in, in, in the second half of the section, but what about the proximity deep in the smoke for Liam Burke? What a try. Toyota's galore GT86 of Ben Jenkins. And Ben Jenkins has gone well off, and he's tagged the wall. He's managed to keep off it though. And Liam Burke just needs to finish the section here. The smile keeps getting wider and the run to battle for the round win and potentially the championship is in your hands. Yeah, that was wicked. Um, not so impressed with my lead on that one. I feel it wasn't as, as good as it should have been. But man, we got onto him on the chase, so that was cool. I sort of shut myself out a little bit there and he ended up gaining a little bit of proximity, um, gaining on me on the second section. But nah, hats off to Ben. Wicked driver, man. You excited? Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. <laughs> That's drifting. The way the keys will measure up for him. Nissan S13 down the front straight. Look at Gaz White go. They wait shift to move into each other. <laughs> that was gnarly stuff on the entry, and it still is as they fire down through the sweeper. Liam Burke leading out a four time New Zealand champion. Liam wants a championship of his own. Can he do it? Gaz White is not going to let him get away with it easy, though. And Gaz White all over the inside curbing. Bounces up the front wheels on the exit. Gary the Goat just said, you are one hell of a driver. Nice compliment. Oh, and he is too. A quote that he's always said, well, I've seen recently was, it's just like riding a push bike for him. Every time you get back on, you just remember. And he remembers every time he comes out, he wins everything. That's one of, honestly, one of New Zealand's best drivers. Your champion in 2020, Liam Burke. Unbelievable, is all I can say. We did the four rounds. 
Hills um, coming into it, always missed, missed here at Tonga. And getting midway through the season, I started to say, oh, we may be able to get a podium. And coming to this round, um, sitting in second place, I was the, all the chances were there. So all we had to do was just get those two points ahead of Taylor. And it was ours, and somehow we managed to get it. It was a very fine line. Like, hats off to Taylor. I've, I've been saying it throughout the season. He has just been killing it first season in pro. He's just adjusted so well. Like, almost a little bit jealous. <laughs> it took me a whole season to get to where I am, and then this season. So, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, we had some major issues with the clutch, so ended up putting a, a totally different clutch setup in. Uh, my pedal stop on the Thursday test day blew out. The release bearing blew out of the bow housing, and we lost our clutch. And then our fourth gear started getting notchy, so we got that down to Caspers. They sorted us out overnight, sorted in the morning. Absolute legends from those guys for helping us, and thank you for sponsoring the series. You guys are just great. Um, Going just before qualifying, we had the release bearing pop out again. So things are getting a bit stressed, a bit heated, but my brother has just been on the job as my crew member. Like he has just put in the hard yards, helping with this whole weekend and all our other crew. It's so insane. So yeah, our weekend went from very uh, daunting to where we are now, just insane. Valvoline Easy Pour. No mess, no worries.